One of the best role players in the NBA currently is Derek White. He simply deserves more recognition because before the All-Star break, when the Celtics were riddled with injuries, he stepped up big time, averaging 21 points per game, 7 assists per game, while shooting 48% from the field and 42% from three in the month of February. He's Mr. Everything, a little bit of offense, a little bit of defense, and of course he brings the heart and hustle night in and night out. You need a guy to stop the opposing team's best guard? He's got you. He's going to try his best. Notice here, they put him on Bradley Beal and live with the results. The help defense ain't there because they trust White to keep him in front, and that's what he does. Miss short as a result. Kyrie? No problem. He can get beat off the dribble from time to time, but his sneaky 6'8 wingspan allows him to recover with the best of them and block it from behind. He's just a great defender who can compete against any perimeter player, and having that next to other great defenders such as Marcus Smart, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, and Al Horford, and the rim protector Robert Williams is a great luxury to have, especially during a long-winded 82-game schedule. Not only can he be effective defensively, but he ain't no slouch offensively. And simply put, the key to putting together a championship roster is having as many two-way players as possible. But those are tough to find because most shooters are statues defensively. Or the other way around, most defenders can't dribble more than two times. However, when Derek White is playing with confidence, he can do damage. Confidence is key for him, though. He can lose it at times. However, lately, he's been on a different level. The game against the Grizzlies was a great example of how he does his damage offensively when he's on top of his game. Feed off the stars such as Jason Tatum beating his guy off the dribble. Grizzlies defense collapses. Pass to Horford one more to a wide open Derek White. It's good. Because you got Tatum and Brown on the court most times, He's probably going to draw one of the opposing team's worst defenders. So you can use him on ball if that's the case. Jaw gets screened. He's now out of the picture. One-on-two situation. He takes the floater. It's good. He can be the guy in all bench units running the show as well, along with Malcolm Brogdon during the regular season. He loves his little floater off the action. He's looking to create that contact. Eat the bump, and then go up and float it up off the glass and kiss it off the glass. He's always looking for floaters around the basket. And the thing about him, he ain't just a scorer and shooter. He's a team guy who has instincts to allow him to make the correct pass whenever it's needed. This dude is a great playmaker as well. Like I said, in that Grizzlies game, he showed his true potential offensively, 23 points, but also 10 assists. In transition, they push it up to White. He gets himself in the Peyton region, notices no one is on Robert Williams. He jumps in the air, hangs, and finds his guy for the easy layup. Simple, yet effective. Then, he's like, let me be Jason Tatum. Beat my guy off the dribble, set him up with a spin move, make him look silly, draw multiple defenders, and dish it to a wide-open three-point shooter and get the bucket for his team. Grizzlies switch the action. Now he has a mismatch and he takes advantage of the big guy. And then he's going to get his big guy involved with the lob. His playmaking is pretty damn good for a role player. And having a guy like that on the court next to Tatum and Brown in playoff situations is very nice to have. Simply put, Derek White is everything you want in a role player. He can play off ball do some things on ball at times. He's a solid defender, and he hustles and plays hard every single night. The Celtics are already deadly, but having multiple role players like Derek White makes them one of the most complete teams in the NBA. Let me know your thoughts below in the comments section. If you enjoyed at any point, remember to leave a like and subscribe. It helps out a ton, but make sure you have yourself a great day, and peace out.